my brother steven is getting better his kidneys are still functioning they are planning to get him off the ventilator that his lungs are working praise and glory to our lord jesus christ thank you jesus thank you thank jesus amen amen let's let's praise and thanks god through some testimonies because today you will learn the biggest thing reason why healings don't take place is because people don't testify nobody wants to come out and thank god for what god has done for them and that's why we always go church searching preacher after preacher every place but we don't realize when we testify you glorify god and help someone else's faith to develop so if you have a testimony always share it because that creates power in your prayer life also builds faith in the church that you worship is there someone who would like to testify um Viv, we have been praying for amy yeah who, who was in a coma and on a, on um um still ventilated through a trachea and yeah. we just have to praise and thank god even though she's still on a trachea yep managing to start to interact now this is a lady who was in a coma yes we have been praying desperately for her yes and she's now starting to interact and smile and and start to come back to herself now thank that you. is just amazing so praise you lord jesus thank you jesus praise thank you jesus and in for how long has she been in a coma um i think it's been so give me two minutes i'm back three or four weeks yeah, three or four weeks. So i think she got a virus yeah. and i think it went to her brain so we just praise and thank god for that today and i also would like to praise and thank the lord i just really asked him to use me this week with the people i was what whoever i was coming across and and a couple of my customers um were were very badly affected by different things that were happening in their life um and one had a friend who who took her life she was a mum of in her early 50s with two children and i was able to minister her to her about the word of god and how to call on the holy spirit and to open her bible and to start reading scripture and and she just probably couldn't believe that someone had she come for for an appointment and someone was speaking to her about the word of god so it's just amazing the strength that the holy spirit does give you when he puts you into those those situations so i just praise and thank you lord for using me thank you oh praise god yes thank you lord are there any other testimonies that anyone would like to add to the glory of god um i just want to share um a brief testimony on how god heal me right now um just this week i have this on and off migraine and praise the name of the lord that this morning i am better and i am able to join you again uh, with our bible study all glory uh, belongs to our lord jesus i could not thank him enough praise god amen amen are there any other testimonies that anyone would like to add praise of the lord for the wonders he has worked in their lives i would just like to praise and thank god for everyone that has managed to make it here this evening for all those whom he has called for all those who receive his anointing and his presence this evening thank you jesus thank you lord for vivek for giving us this wonderful brother who carries your anointing and your presence and all the revelations the hidden gems in your scripture that you reveal through him for all of us to apply with our lives and to know you more and come closer to you and for shanine 
who tirelessly sings your praises, leads us in worship, bringing us ever closer to you, entering through the gates into the outer courts to your tabernacle, Lord, to the Holy of Holies, to your presence. I would like to give a testimony about a non-Catholic friend of mine who has heard about our prayer group right from the beginning. She's been a very close friend and she has also heard about the miracle that took place in Sharon's life. Sharon is one of the group, uh, member of our group who has been to the jaws of death and she's back to life. So she has heard all these and all the miracles that's taking place in our prayer group. And being a non-Catholic, she has actually started praying the I confess, reading the scriptures and applying it to people who are not well. And then I get a message saying that person is healed and she talks about the Holy Spirit. Yes, and has built a lot of faith. Thank you, Jesus. So that's what, Amen. Amen. Okay, praise the Lord. 